Ah, Sir Daniel Fortescue, having somehow defeated Zarok and banished his dark minions from Galomir, he has taken his improbable place in the Hall of Heroes. But after centuries of revelry and mirth, word has come that a new threat gathers in distant lands. Zarak, again? Could the evil wizard somehow have returned once more? No, come on, that is ridiculous. But whatever has caused these creatures to gather together, a true hero is needed to defeat them. Unfortunately, all we have at the moment is a skeletal knight of dubious courage. But bravery and folly are often confused, and so is Sir Daniel, who sets forth, ready to meet the challenges ahead of him head-on, if not exactly jaw-on. Having defeated all the villains he had encountered thus far, a result which was, well, rarely in doubt, the brave knight continued on his quest. And what's this? Mm -hmm. Another scoundrel? Some Ooh. abomination sent by the mysterious force which Sir Daniel must dispatch with him? Oh, well, I'm sure we can all just see for ourselves. Tell me who you are and why I should let you walk away. <laughs> Not good enough, I'm afraid. Sir Daniel has once again successfully defeated those he set out to fight, a result not wholly unexpected. The kingdom of Galamir is safe once again, though was it really ever threatened? Nevertheless, Fortescue regains his well-deserved place in the Hall of Heroes. And while he hopes this will be the last time he is called back to duty, deep in his gallant heart. He knows this will not be his last adventure.